Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, He tells us, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, taqu allaha wal tanzur nafsu ma qaddamat lighat. So Allah calls out to the believers. And He says, O oh, you who have believed, have God consciousness. So the first thing He says is, have God consciousness. And then he says, And let every person know what they have put forward for tomorrow. Meaning, what have we put to furnish our, our future home? Every single person, every single person who is alive today is moving to a future home. Y'all agree with me? We have... There is no doubt in that matter. We are all moving. Have you guys ever moved from one home to another before? It's intense, right? It requires a process of what? Packing, right? Not sure? Yes? Okay. Packing, right? And hiring movers or doing it yourself. But there's a, there's a process of taking your stuff and furnishing that home. Am I right? We are all moving to a future home. But some of us are furnishing it and some of us are burning it down. You understand? That home is saved for us. The question is, how's it going to look like when we get there? That's us. That's us. That's what we are doing now. Are we preparing that home or are we burning it down? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, let everyone know what they have put forward for tomorrow. And then in the next ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something very crucial. And this is what I want inshallah to wrap up with. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ And do not be like those people who forgot about Allah, so He made them forget their own selves. That's very deep and very important. Why do we get lost? Why do we lose ourselves? Why do we have an identity crisis? It happens when we forget about Allah. And this is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we forget Allah, we forget our own selves. So my reminder to you and to myself is having that deep foundation in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That realizing that, for example, our salah is spiritual oxygen. If you give it up, you're giving up breathing. And that training is necessary for these workers. Because it's like telling someone, okay, I'm going to train you to run a marathon, but they're not breathing. I'm going to train you to be an Olympic athlete, but they don't breathe. You understand? That's impossible. And so if we're talking about training workers and training leaders and training activists, we have to make sure that they are spiritually sound. That they're, because this is oxygen. The salah is our oxygen. That the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is oxygen. Our scholars would say that a person who doesn't remember Allah, it's like taking out a fish out of water. The Prophet ﷺ said the difference between the one who remembers Allah and the one who doesn't, it's the difference between the living and the dead. And so this has to be part of that foundation and that training because there's no way that we're going to run this marathon. And by the way, it is a marathon because we are dealing with a lot of challenges. And alhamdulillah, we had a lot of stats about the type of Islamophobia and the machine that we're dealing with. And so we are dealing with challenges and there is no way we're going to be able to handle that if we're not breathing. And so we have to create that healthy internal state so that we can handle these storms. Aqulin qawli hadha wa astaghfir Allah li wa lakum innahu ghafurun rahim subhanaka Allah wa bihamdak ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Jazakum Allah khairan for giving me your attention. I I mean I know I was competing with like look at this dessert that just got put on the table. That's intense, right? Um, Jazakallah khair. I just, just quick announcement. I do have, uh, I, I am an author. I wrote a few books. I only have a few with me today. Inshallah, they'll be available in the back. I also wanted to offer this, this service for you. We are living right now in a time when there is a lot of stigma of reaching out and getting help. Um, that's why me and my husband, we both, we do, we try to do a lot of service, especially when it comes to, um, coaching and counseling and so my husband all specifically he does coaching for couples this is a big stigma and people asking for help and men men's issues we have an epidemic right now of a lot of um issues in our community 
uh, including porn addiction and other types of addictions, problem infidelity, a lot of issues that we're dealing with, and it's all hush hush. If you are interested in getting that type of help or you know someone, inshallah, you can get information at the end.